Hello, everybody. My name is Anton. Welcome to another episode of my GTA 5 pilot series. Now, today, we're not going to be flying any ordinary aircraft. And that is because we're going up to space. You can probably tell that by the NASA suit that I'm wearing. We're going to be piloting the space shuttle today and going up to space, to the stars and beyond. Now, we're here in Fort Zancudo and we actually have to make our way out to the launch pad. So we're going to do that here in a second. And uh, we're going to start off, first of all, by um, actually leaving Fort Zancudo here. And uh, we're going to jump into our NASA van that we have out here. Check that out going to make our way down into the uh, airport here and find our helicopter. We have a NASA a Bell UH-1 helicopter there that's waiting for us. So we're going to pick that up and then we're going to head out to the launch pad. The launch pad is actually in the middle of the ocean, so we still have a ways to go. But once we get there, we're going to check out the launch facilities there. Of course, the space shuttle on the launch pad ready to go. And then we'll, uh, we're going to space. We're launching that sucker. And I'm really excited to get back into space. This is, of course, thanks to the uh, to the Grand Theft Space mod that just came out uh, the other day. And I actually checked it out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way there. I actually checked it out on uh, a live stream a few days ago. So that was a lot of fun. We actually ended up going to space, checking out a bunch of planets. So if you haven't seen that, you guys can check that out on the channel. We're probably not going to be checking out any planets on today's uh, episode, but we will do a future episode when we actually go and take a look at some of the planets. I think today we're just gonna stick with a space shot of launch. So here we are, we're gonna make our way down here to our helicopter, which is sit sitting right out here. There it is, there's the uh, Bell UH-1, also known of course as the Huey. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into that. I love the little uh, NASA van. I love how everything is NASA logoed. We got our NASA suit that we're wearing here. We've got, of course, the logos here on the back, the American flag patch there on the uh, arm there, and of course, the NASA patch on the front as well. The truck's got the NASA logo. We got NASA logos here on the helicopter as well. So really, really great, really themed, very nicely NASA themed episode, that's for sure. I mean, and it has to be since we're going into space, right? It has to be. All right, let's go ahead and take off here and, uh, Make our way out to the launch pad. All right, here we are taking off. And up we go. Just going to get some altitude here. Make sure we clear the Fort Zancudo airspace. In case there's any jets coming in. And uh, let's make our way out there. So as I mentioned, the uh, launch facility and the launch pad is actually right in the middle of the ocean. You guys should be able to see it right there on the horizon. It's, uh, it's this island that's really in the middle of nowhere. And the only way, way to get to it is either going to be by boat or by helicopter. In our case, of course, we are going to take the helicopter here, just fly right over to the island. Uh, check that out. And then uh, up to space we go. It's a perfect day to go to space. Perfect day to go flying. As we approach our launch facilities here, let's go ahead and jump inside the uh, cockpit here and check out the cockpit of the uh, helicopter. Looks like it's pretty much the standard cockpit. Uh, nothing too crazy out here. I mean, you can see there's a lot of space back there. Obviously, for anybody else that is riding along with us, any other astro astronauts, but right now we're by ourselves. So there we go. Anything up there? Nope, nothing up there. No panels or anything like that up there, but really big wide windows, though, for you to take a look at here as we approach our final destination here, which is the island here, the Space Launch Facility here off San Andreas. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the helicopter a little bit lower. We'll uh, do a quick fly around around the island so you guys can just check out the uh, entire facility here. And then we'll, of course, land and uh, and get into the space shuttle. And speaking of the space shuttle, there it is sitting right on the launch pad with its fuel tank and the uh, solid rocket boosters right there. Let's go ahead and start making a turn here. There's the control tower. This is where the launch uh, coordinator, the launch, the flight director is, all of the launch personnel to coordinate the launch of the space shuttle. We've got a huge, huge hangar down here as well. That's where the space shuttle, of course, undergoes uh, its preparation for the launch, where the uh, fuel tank and the socket, solid rocket boosters get uh, mounted. And there's the port down there right underneath us. So this is where the solid rocket boosters and the, uh, the uh, fuel tank arrive to get mounted onto the space shuttle. Let's go ahead and turn around this way now. And we should have a helicopter pad just right down here coming up. There's a couple of them down there. Yep, there they are, I see them. And there is the space shuttle, just waiting to launch, ready to go. 
All right, let me go ahead and get this helicopter down. And uh, we'll check out some of the facility here and then up to space. Up to space we go. All right, bring her down nice and easy. And straighten her out here. There we go. And let's try to get her down onto these one of these helicopter pads right there. Very nice. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. We have arrived. Almost perfect. Almost right in the center there. But we have arrived right here at the NASA launch facility here in San Andreas. Let me jump into this truck. We have a truck here waiting for us. Conveniently. Sitting right there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the truck here. And let's quickly drive around. We're just going to check out some of the facility here. We're going to go take a look at the hangar first. Obviously, you guys saw the port. We don't need to go all the way down into the port there. I'm going to try to maybe see if I can just pull up to it. A lot of containers here, a lot of cranes. Of course, all these cranes used to lift the uh, fuel tank, the solid rocket boosters. Those are the, the two white uh, rockets there you see attached to that orange fuel tank. Solid rocket boosters, of course, known as the SRBs as well. And the fuel tank there is orange. It actually used to be painted white when they first started launching the space shuttle, but then they found that the paint really does nothing for it. So they stopped painting it, and that's why it now looks orange. All right, here is our big, big hangar. You can see the size of this thing is unbelievable. But of course, you have to mount the space shuttle, the fuel tank there onto the space shuttle, the solid rocket boosters here as well. So it has to be massive. You can see there's a lot of different equipment here, all sorts of tanks, just lots and lots of storage. Uh, there as well, tools. Of course, you need tools because, you know, got to crank those uh, nuts, nuts and bolts. You can see there's all sorts of platforms here to, like, lift things, some power cell, whatever that is, part of the shuttle. Fuel here as well. And uh, let's make our way down here. Let's see what else we have out here. This is the actual uh, launch command center. As you can see, there's some bunkers out here that go underground. And then, of course, we have the big facilities. I'm not sure if you're actually able to uh, enter those. I actually haven't tried that. But uh, we might not be able to get in there. Yeah, it looks like it's all locked up. I don't think we're going to be able to get into any of these doors now. They're all locked up. But yeah, this is the big uh, launch center where the flight director and launch director will sit. And, of course, monitor the, uh, the lift off, off the space shuttle. Let's see if I can just cut around here on the grass. Mess up the grass a little bit. Oh, no, there's all these rocks out here. Let me just see if I can turn around and head this way. There we go. There we go. Oh, we actually might be able to uh, enter in there. The doors are open out here. Oh, check that out. We can actually... We can go in. Let's see if we can actually maybe take the elevator up. Is this the elevator work? The elevator might not work. I think we're going to have to climb all the way... Uh, up the uh, up the tower, but you know what? Let's make that climb. Let's make the climb and see what's up the tower. <sighs> that was like the longest climb of life. Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Here we are. You can see the space shuttle right out there. And this is only the first floor of the tower here. As we made a long, long climb up the stairs. There's still more stairs. For us to tackle. So let's go up there. Let's see what else, what else we have in this room. There's all the different servers here. Of course, this is the launch computer that controls the launch. The launch of the space shuttle in real life is not done manually by any human. The computer actually takes over and controls everything uh, in the last, uh, last 30 seconds or so, I believe. So if the computer notices anything abnormal, it can abort the launch. But there's actually no human uh, interaction there in the last few seconds before the shuttle goes up. It's all controlled by the computer. And there is uh, all of the uh, stations right here for everybody to look over the space shuttle as it goes up, making sure that everything is checking out there in terms of trajectory and all the systems and everything like that, temperatures and all that fun stuff. So there you go. There's the uh, control tower right up here, giving us a beautiful view there of the space shuttle there on the launch pad. All right, I'm going to make the long way down the stairs now, and I'll meet you guys downstairs. It's time for us to get into the sucker and go up to space. All right, I finally made it down. Man, that's a long climb up those stairs. When the elevator isn't working, don't do it. Guys, don't do it. All right, let's get back into our NASA van here, and uh, we're going to make our way here down to the launch pad, get into our space shuttle, and up we go. I'm going to try to park this thing somewhere, maybe where it's not going to get blown up once we go up. Uh, maybe like over here somewhere. 
Yeah, this will do. I think this will be fine. Oh, I'm inside the space shuttle just like that. There we go. Instaport into the space shuttle and take a look at this thing. This thing is just humongous. We got our launch structure, of course, right next to us. Space shuttle Endeavor here on the launch pad, ready to go. All right, guys, let's get the sucker up in space. 20. Firing chain is armed. Our suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and liftoff for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, World Program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to over onto its uh, back, the roll program on the way as uh, Endeavour begins. And here we are in space. Look at that. And there is planet Earth. Check that out. That looks so great. Of course, it's completely quiet out here because there is no sound in space. But let's go check out the uh, International Space Station. It's floating right up above planet Earth. Right there, you can see it's got its uh, solar panels extended. Try to pull up right next to it here. Oh, nope, don't want to do that. Oh, the controls are really finicky up here. Look at that, it's just going crazy. All right, I get it, the moon is right over there. Relax, relax game. The game just wants to go all nuts. There is the uh, International Space Station right here floating right up above planet Earth. Look at that, it looks so awesome. Check that out. All right, let's see if maybe we can fly around Earth. That would be a lot of fun. See if we can do that. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we even do that, I wonder if I can actually exit the uh, the space shuttle. Can we? Oh my God, we can. Oh, just drop out as I'm floating. I'm now floating in space. Whoa, check that out. How cool is that? I am now floating in space in my spacesuit. That is awesome. Look at that. We just left our space shuttle there and we're now floating in space. Of course, there's no gravity, so I can do all sorts of acrobatic moves like that. I'm swimming. I'm swimming through space right now. That is so cool. I did not even realize you can actually go out here. I wonder how this looks in first person. Take a look at that. Let me just swing around here to the uh, turn around. Turn around. Oh, this is really finicky right now. The controls are like super finicky. Where are my hands? I don't even I don't even know where I am right now. What is going on right there? But I'm trying to get a look at planet Earth here. This is like so finicky. All right, there we go. I'm going to position myself here in uh in uh, third person and there we go. That should do it right there. Let's take a look. Check that out. There's planet Earth right there. If only I could maybe see a little bit better. There we go. Look at, there's the shot right there. There's the money shot. Look at that. That is so cool looking right there. There's the planet Earth as we're now floating. Look at that. Floating right up above Earth. How cool is that? That is fantastic. Uh, where's the shuttle? I don't want to get out of the shuttle. How do we go back up? Uh, I seem to be drifting away from it. Uh... Hello? There we go. There we go. Had to have to use the keyboard for this one. Am I actually going back up to it? Or yeah, I'm going back up to it. I don't want to drift away from the space shuttle. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck out here in space, probably re-enter the atmosphere and die. But there we go. Look at that. We can actually fly around the space shuttle. If I can just turn myself the other way. There we go. So I can turn myself with the controller and then I can fly with the keyboard so that's a little that's a little funky right there that's just come kind of weird controls there but check that out there we can just fly right around the space shuttle there that is awesome all right how do we get back how do we get back in is the bigger question i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try the door i hope I'll, i'm able to get back into the sucker because you know we're, we're gonna need that to go back to earth i think 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Yes, I'm back inside the shuttle. That is awesome. All right, there we go. So let's see if we can actually... It looks like planet Earth is rotating. There's Russia right there. Europe. This is uh, what seems to be Africa, I believe. All right, let me go. Uh, let me go see if we can go this way. Maybe. I want to see if I can maybe go to the other side of the planet. We're definitely on the sun side right now. There's the moon. Where's the sun? There's the sun right there. So we're on the sunny side of the planet right now. Let's see if I can go to the dark side of the planet. Let's see what it looks like during the night. But uh, yeah, you can definitely go around. To the up. There's the night side. You can see it coming into view right now. How cool is that? That is awesome. Yep, there's the night side of the planet. Completely dark, of course, as it would be, because there's no sun shining on it. But uh, you can see right there. And look at that. We even have night lights on it. Oh, man. Let me just try to move this thing. The controls are really funky, I gotta say. Using a combination of keyboard and uh, my uh, Xbox 360, or my rather Xbox 360, my Xbox One Elite controller out here. And uh, look at that. That's North America right there. You can see the Great Lakes right up uh, right up there. It's kind of weird, actually. The planet is not rotated correctly. There's no way that it would be daytime in Canada right now, where I live. I live in Toronto, Canada. So right above above that Lake Ontario, which is uh, which is that lake to the right, you see right there. Those are the Great Lakes. There's Lake Ontario there, the rightmost lake. And uh, there's no way that it would be daytime in uh, Canada and nighttime in like the lower part of the United States. So it looks like the earth isn't quite rotated properly here in the game, but it definitely has, as you can see, a night side and a dark side as well. So really, really awesome looking. But uh, hopefully they'll fix that in the next update because technically, of course, you know, the night side would be like Europe would be night and U US and Canada would be daytime. And then, of course, you know, when it's daytime here, there'd be nighttime, you know, places like Russia, Europe. So definitely, of course, not rotated correctly, but that is awesome. Let's see if there's anything else that's floating around here. I don't think there's any satellites or anything like that that I've seen, at least the first time I was out here. But uh, we'll go around here. Let's see. Maybe we can find the International Space Station again. And I don't know if there's anything out here. Look at that. There's the Milky Way. The uh, Galactic Center of the Milky Way right over there. Mars is that way. We'll be checking that out on the next episode when we go flying in space. But uh, let me see if I can maybe, again, the controls are super funky here. All right, here we are on the dark side of the uh, planet Earth now. On the dark side of Earth. Let's see if we can go down this way. Just want to see if there's anything down here that maybe I might have missed. As we're making our way here in Earth orbit. That is so cool. That is great that it has a dark side and a night side. They just have to fix, of course, that, as I was saying, that alignment of the, uh, of the uh, planet. But other than that, that is awesome. And I'm so excited that you can actually fly around it, too. That is great. The fact that you can actually go right around the planet. It's not just, you know, kind of a 2D thing where it's just right next to you there. And you can basically go either into it or you know, away from it. You can actually hear fly right around the planet. So I don't think there's anything out here. I'm going to try to reposition this thing. Oh, man, the controls are, like, super funky. No, 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 no. Go back the other way. There we go. That's where I want to go. There we go. There we go. And, of course, the space shuttle, they're glowing thanks to the uh, Make Visuals a Grade mod. What's up above us here? Uh, South America right there. As we're coming up to uh, Antarctica, that's going to be passing uh, right out here. Yep, there's An Antarctica right there. Let's see if I can just move my way around. Yep, there's the South Pole, Antarctica. And let's continue to make our way uh, down here. Of course, I can just flip the... Uh... Can I flip it this way? No, maybe not. Oh, no, now we're re-entering Earth. Oh, we just re-entered the... The Earth, well, I guess we're out of space. That's it. That's enough space flying. There's San Andreas. We're just re-entered the atmosphere of Earth. Uh, I don't have any control of the uh, spacecraft. 
I do not have any control of the spacecraft here. Nope, there's no control of the spacecraft. Uh-oh. That's not good. I have no control. For some reason, the control surfaces have locked up. Oh, we're going to have to abandon the space shuttle. That is not good. We got an emergency coming in to uh, San Andreas here. None of the controls are working. That is so weird. All the controls are locked up right now. I have absolutely no control here off space shuttle endeavor and attempt to restart my uh, c control command system here. Let's see if this works. Nope, I can't seem to turn it or do anything with it. We're just spiraling down slowly. Uh-oh, we're going to have to abandon the uh, space shuttle here. This is not the way that I wanted to end this episode, that's for sure. I don't know if there's anything we're going to be able to do out here with it. But just seems to be spiraling down. It's completely locked up. As you can see, the control surfaces there are completely stuck. And I can't seem to ha get any sort of control here off the space shuttle as we continue to go down. Nothing is working. I don't... What do I do? Houston, Mayday, 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 Space Shuttle Endeavor going down. I repeat, Space Shuttle Endeavor going down. Oh, looks like the engine's just cut out. Yeah, we're going to go down into the ocean here, right off Polito Bay. Again, all the control surfaces. Oh, there's comes back. Here's the engines again. They're kind of working. Uh-oh. Lots of lots of problems here. This is not how I wanted to end this episode, but we're going right down into the ocean right now. Space Shuttle Endeavor, none of the controls are, are working. Oh, this is not good. There's the engines again. No, oh, it's not doing anything. None of the keyboard controls are working. None of the nothing. There we go. We're about to hit the water. You can see the shadow right there. We're coming in. Brace, 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 brace. Brace for impact. Here we go. Oh my god. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. We're sinking, we're sinking. We still have our spacesuit. Oh my god, this is not how I wanted to end the uh, episode. There's Space Shuttle Endeavor now sinking to the bottom of the ocean here. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Let's go back uh, up here. Wow. Yep, there she goes. She's going all the way down. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to the controls there, but we're right here, out here in the middle of the ocean in our spacesuit. Space Shuttle Endeavor just sank after crash landing here in the ocean. See, you never know what's going to happen on these episodes when you are a pilot. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. All the way down there. Oh, man. Well, guys, I guess that's how we're going to end this episode here of uh, GTA 5. My pilot series just took a turn for the worst. We'll be back in space again. We'll get another space shuttle. We'll go back out there and we'll explore some of the planets in the upcoming episodes. And of course, we're going to be checking out more ordinary aircraft like the Boeing 737, which will be featured in an upcoming episode. We'll also be taking a look at some Airbus aircraft as well. So guys, make sure you stay tuned for those. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. Bye.